there's something I've really been thinking about in terms of this, which has to do with, um, with kind of simplification, like oversimplification, essentially, that when we get to that edge, that anxious edge, where we, we, we start to lose our confidence that we can actually deal with ourselves, there, there's that desire for simple answers. And the desire for simple answers in the mind takes the form of a kind of, you know, kind of sloppy thinking or a simplistic thinking. And we get locked in. We get locked into some set of ideas. Um, we were talking about, you know, toxic certainty. Yeah. Some, and, and they're not always the same. Like it could be political or it could be, you know, philosophical. Um, you know, I, I don't know if I need to listen to these people because they don't match my philosophy or I don't need to listen. I, I shouldn't be listening to my own experience because it doesn't match my philosophy mm. to make it very personal. Oh, that's really an interesting, you know, but it, but it can take the form of even my ideas about, um, whether or not I engage with this larger situation, whether or not I do self care. Even that level of ideas comes in, says yes, no, maybe, and and tries to make it simpler than it actually mm. is. Yeah. So the idea of oversimplification is, to me, one example of we use the metaphor of freezing. So what is the open mind? The open mind is fluid. The open mind is the mind of wonder and curiosity and learning. You know, how do you learn anything except by not knowing? Mm. Um, and in order to not know, you have to let go of what you knew a moment ago in order to learn something new. And so this, uh, so that would be the fluidity. And then we hit that slushy place of uh, uncertainty. And suddenly in that space, it becomes dangerous. And then, as you said, shutting down freezing involves oversimplification, ideology being the kind of, it's sort of like the iceberg you want to hold on to. No. Um, as a safe place. So we talked about those principles and uh, that's how it works with the mind. Is uh, And it's this is why it's such an important balance, the balance between um, intelligence and curiosity. And, and it's not as though we're, we don't have an opinion or we don't have a view. It's the ability to be flexible and upgrade. It's like having in your computer, you have to be able to update the information. Yeah, right. So this oversimplification, the ideological identification, tribalism, all the things mm -hmm. we talk about, um, will not allow for updating information mm -hmm. because suddenly everything has to conform to a preconceived idea. And it's back to this idea that mindfulness is all about training to come back to the present moment. And if you really, what we do, what, what this mindful communication is teaching is how to really put the present moment under the microscope and find out what does that look like? And present moment is an intelligent relationship to what is emerging and arising. And we feel that in our body. And because we're in our body, we allow to, we are able to feel that in our heart. We're able to feel present moment responses because we're embodied, and then the mind is able to receive that. So those three are completely coordinated. They're completely synchronized, and the you know the mind component of that is this capacity to be with what's emerging. And in order to do that, there has to be the willingness to be be able to be with the not knowing, instead of always be clinging to what is known. Yeah. Mm. I, Oh, sorry. I, yeah, I mean, I just, I, I don't know if it resonates with you, but I think this metaphor of the upgrading, not being able to upgrade, I mean, it's, you know, it's a very technological metaphor, but a lot of us are very <laughs> technological people, right? And that like, if you don't, if you can't upgrade in real time, you can't connect. You, your systems are no longer hooked in. And what was a very, very good, useful system is now not, it's not live. You know, like we're behind everything. Like as soon as we get locked into these things and we disconnect these circuits, we're not hooked in anymore. 